Hey guys, it's Catherine and you're watching CUK Pop today. And today or tonight, I'm going to finally get to my end of the year videos. So a little disclaimer, um, I'm going to start out with my favorite music videos and then go into my favorite songs of the year of 2017 for music videos as well as songs. I just want to get it out of the way now that if I could, I mean, I can, it's not like, you know, anyone else is making this list, but I thought it was a good idea to keep Dream Perfect Regime out of this because otherwise they would pretty much just dominate the list. So I didn't put any of their music videos or any of live songs in this category in these lists because I just knew like there would be no end to it and I would probably just list his whole album and like list all of Christian Yu's music videos. So um, I did not put any of their music videos in it and it's not because I don't love them because if you watch all of my reactions from this year and from the past year, um, it's nothing but love for DPR right here. So I just want to let you guys know that. But other than that, it's a free for all. Anyone is good. Anyone is great. Um, K hip hop, K pop, ballad singer, solo artist, it doesn't matter. So let's get into this. So MVs, I did seven MVs and I did seven songs for the year of 2017. Starting off at number seven is it's a surprising one. Um, I didn't think that it would stick with me throughout basically almost the whole year because they debuted close to the beginning of the year. But it's Blanc 7's Yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna yeah, 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 yeah. Bottom line is, this song wouldn't be what it is without the music video, and the music video wouldn't be what it is without the song. Like, both of them go perfectly together, but I love, and this was their debut video, which just really impressed me because the colors, the scheme, the there wasn't exactly a theme, there was no story going on, so you might be like, this is a little plain, you know, to be in a list like this. But it just really impressed me how good and like mature and sexy their debut video was. I couldn't handle it. I was really blown away. Um, since then I've kept up with them and their videos have pretty much stayed on the course of what K-pop usually is. You know, kind of, oh, we have a happy video, we have a serious video, we have a sexy video. Um, but this video just really stuck with me and just the way they were dressed, the way the cinematography was, the lighting in that video is truly what makes that video great. So go check it out. Number six on my list is I use ending scene. These days it's very rare and I think I recently talked about this but it's very rare for um, music videos all over the world not just in k-pop or American pop but for music videos to actually follow the same storyline that the song is going in so the song ending scene is talking about her breaking up with this person and how hard it is for her to separate from him and how he's trying to kind of take the high road and say hey it's okay i hope you're well i hope you're eating i hope you're healthy after all of this and she's like what i don't want to hear those words from you i never I, you know i don't want to break up i want to stay together and so the video very creatively follows that whole scenario and that whole storyline in the song and I love that video. I can't remember. Um, I think I reacted to it. I believe I did. It's been a long year guys. So I think I reacted to it but I know for sure like when I went back and watched it and I watched it with subtitles I was just 
and I like me myself in my own life was going through something 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 so when I watched that and I watched the video I was just kind of who it just hit me in the right or the wrong way whichever and I was like tearing up and I was like oh my gosh this is so beautiful and it really touched me and not only was it just a good like storyline the video but the acting was really good um the b-roll was great it was really creative how they used the the yarn as the string cutting each other off you know cutting each other out of each other's life i don't know i really love the whole video it was really creative and different and new um it also shows just a different side from iu Number five in this list is Monster X's Beautiful. I'm gonna keep this one real short. Lighting was amazing, directing was incredible, the choreography was insane, and I know that doesn't really have anything to do with the video per se, but just all tied together that is still one of Monster X's greatest MVs. I will say that even now. Um, I know they've come out with a couple other ones since then um, but truly like this is a music video that I would feel totally 100% comfortable showing my friends and non-K-pop fans and saying this is what K-pop is and it's such a great representation of what it's become and like in terms of the sound, the look of the music videos now, the choreography, like none of it disappoints and it's so good and so cool and it just makes my boys look they just look amazing and like showcase and it really showcases all of them like it doesn't stop at just oh we showed Shonu a lot and I am and a little bit of Juhyun like it shows them all really well and I like the I guess just the screen time and the screen distribution like it's just a solid music video number four is 21's goodbye <laughs> So this one came out in the first month of this year and um, I think it just it was just an emotional time for all of us 21 was officially breaking up and we didn't even know that they were coming out with you know kind of a goodbye song but for them to come out with not only a great song but just a really emotional and kind of I don't know, heartfelt music video was too much. I love the fact that it was all in black and white, and I like the fact that they had the three members. I know we all would have wished Minzy was in it, but you know, it's YG. He's a. We all know that story. Um, but I did like how it was all in black and white, and just the imagery that they used in that video the candles, they had everyone was dressed very almost like it was a funeral. Um, which was fitting. I really wouldn't have liked it if it was like, oh, this is really colorful and we're having a great time at the beach and you know, we're all family and we're all sisters. Like, it was perfect for what the mood was at the time because um, we were all sad that they broke up and I don't think any of us were ready to really feel happy yet. And so I love the framework and how the camera framed each of the women like in that tunnel and especially Park Bomb coming in. Just the whole video was gorgeous. And then the cherry on top was the videos playing on the wall of just old 21 music videos and also behind the scenes footage and just them being together. I think it was a great contrast to all the women that were actually in the goodbye video being all sad and then CL looking upon, you know, past times and past memories when they were all happy. Um, 
it was just a really, really strong video visually and emotionally and it's one of their best. Number three. Okay, this number gave me so much grief. I looked over this so many times. I watched two videos for this number and I couldn't choose, I couldn't decide, but ultimately it was between 17's Don't Wanna Cry and You Know's Drop. Um, and ultimately, You Know won. <laughs> I think it was fitting that both of those music videos were very choreography heavy. Um, there's not a huge, I mean, you know, I think Drop has a little more of a storyline, but there's not a huge storyline in either of the videos. They're both pretty much just like dance, you know, like dance, 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 dance. Um, but I'm giving it to Drop because the production value was just kind of off the charts. Um, like the from the beginning just the opening where it was just black and you heard like the the background like this is king's speech you knew shit was about to happen like you knew it was about to go down so just from the beginning i think we all kind of felt like like our hearts racing we we're getting a little more excited we we're like what's about to happen and then when he actually gave it to us we we're like yes you know this is what i need the lighting i mean a lot of the video was dark but it worked and then also um the reds the whites the overtones i really loved i'm not sure how they shot this whether it was a set or it was an actual location but just the whole like shooting inside that warehouse, the aerial shots, um, the shots in between in the warehouse, like truly amazing. And then at the end when Yuno know, has that breakdown, the dance break, and you have all the lights flickering all around him, that set was gorgeous and perfect. So that whole music video blew me away and I did a reaction to that and I think, I mean, I said the same thing, like that video just exceeded all my expectations and especially coming after champagne i did not enjoy champagne the music video love the song but this one truly fits a king like it fits him so well number two is vix's shangri-la I mean, do I really even need to explain why that video was easily the most gorgeous and visually pleasing, most aesthetic, most just stunning thing I've seen in a music video. Not in K-pop, not in American pop, not in K-pop this year. In music videos, period. That video just blew me away. And honestly, like, Vix are just on a whole nother level that I don't think people are prepared for. I think years from now, people are gonna look back and look at Vix's music videos and their albums and listen to their songs and they're gonna realize like, wow, we really, weren't ready for them we really slept on them we really did not give them the recognition they deserved because i was really mad that they didn't even get a nomination for best music video at the mamas because if anyone deserved that like it was vix i'm not saying whether they should have won or not but this video was incredible and no other boy band touched them on this just 
everything was amazing the sets were gorgeous the lighting the colors um each of the boys got their own shots there was nobody that was really left out like everyone got screen time it was just an incredible music video and k-pop but also for vix and in my opinion fantasy and shangri-la are the top i mean that's that's their best one um so thank you vix like it just kind of raise the bar for what music videos can look like especially from boy bands people don't tend to think that um boy bands can be particularly pretty i know it sounds weird we're all in k-pop and k-pop is usually stereotypically seen as a pretty boy genre but if you look at a lot of the boy bands right now and what they're doing in their music videos a lot of it's very hard and it's very raw um and this was raw but in a completely different way and just in a different path and vix really did that and my number one music video is code Kunst firewater Come on, did you? Did you know the is your chick? i made the bed for you you can zzz and peace <laughs> this year and you watched my reaction videos you would know that Christian Yu was my number one man but who was my number two mm-hmm oh Jun Kwan like what a director man if you don't know who he is um, he's this director I don't know how long he's been around but he caught my eye this year only um, he's done commercials for Jackson Wang he did uh, Bang Young Gook's music video that he came out with this year Yama Yamazaki or something like that I mean that one just went hard um, he also did the teaser trailer for GOT7 before I think they came out with like Arrival or something and it's with Junior with Jin Young and he's like in this water or like there's a creek around him it's just really beautiful nature scenes and everything um but this music video I think was the first one I saw of his actually I think I saw this one and GOT 7s video on the same day and I reacted to them both and I noticed that both of them said Oh Jun Kwan and I was like who is this man coming in this hard and just doing the damn thing because his directing is so good and so precise and just incredible and the music video for firewater i don't know what i was expecting um i mean code kunst really came into his own this year but i just i was blown away by the imagery by it was just in one set it seemed like maybe like a wet room or something but the fact that you had the water and you had the underwater scenes as well as the scenes with g-soul and tablo singing and rapping up above like it was just i don't know like it was so pretty and so i don't know intense like just everything hits you at once and i needed more after it ended i was like i want more i want more so this is my number one video and it was just incredible if you haven't seen it please go check it out code coons firewater featuring g soul and tableau on to songs